to grow. Tune in to Kids Radio and start your hands to clapping or tap your little toe. Tune in to Kids Radio and listen, we're ready to go. And here we are on KIDS Kids Radio. We're going to tickle your hearts and ears with a few new sounds. Music that is, just keep your dial on. KIDS, tune in to Kids Radio. The drum's going to beat, the horn's going to blow. Tune in to Kids Radio. But don't get too close to the radio, you might sizzle your ears. K-I-D-S, tune in to Kids Radio. It might make you feel better when you're feeling low. Tune in to Kids Radio. Hear some country music and then some rock and roll. Tune in to Kids Radio. Hearing different styles of music strengthens our goal. Tune in to Kids Radio. Hey, listen on with the show. KIDS Kids Radio, we are mainly out to reach KIDS Kids, but we love adults too. Remember, music is for everyone, and that means you! KIDS, tune in to Kids Radio, tune in to Kids Radio, tune in to Kids Radio, tune in to Kids Radio. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Carolyn and you're listening to the KIDS Kids Radio Show, where anything can happen and usually does. I hope you'll stay with me today because I have plenty of great songs for you to enjoy. Well, I wonder who could be tapping on the KIDS Kids Radio Show studio door. Come in. Yeah, hello, Miss Carolyn. It is me, your good friend and neighborhood genius, Mr. Invento. Mr. Invento? Hmm, could you come back later? I've got to do the kids' radio show right now. But I want you to come with me on the first day of my new job. I probably shouldn't ask, but what do you do? I am a school bus driver, and today is the first day of school. So come on, I have the bus parked downstairs, and it is loaded with school kids. But what about all the people out there waiting for me to present the KIDS Kids radio show? Oh, that is okay. They can come along, too. Here, give me your hand, and I will help you down the stairs. But, now, wait. Come on. Oh, I suppose I could go for a short ride. Sure you can. But you better be a safe driver because I get car sick very easily. We'll return with more kids radio show right after this. Well, we are on our way in my new school bus to deliver all of these children safely to school. I'm not sure how safe this trip is going to be if you don't do something to calm down the kids on this bus, Mr. Well, I am just the school bus driver, so my main concern is driving the school bus here. Oh, I know why you brought me along. I suppose it's up to me to figure out what I should do to quiet down this bus. I could stop the bus and refuse to move until everyone gets quiet. And then you'd make all these kids late to their first day of school, Mr. Invento. There must be some way to calm them down. Well, I have a fire extinguisher under my seat here. We can hose them down somewhat, eh? No, Mr. Invento. I have an idea. This is always a good icebreaker. Miss Carolyn, you wouldn't be thinking of using anything that dangerous, would you? No, I mean it's a method to use so we can all get to know each other. It's a song I sing. Just quietly introduce me to the kids. Good idea. Okay, you bunch of ruffians. Button up the noise back there because Miss Carolyn wants to yodel at you. That's not exactly the introduction I was looking for, Mr. Edvinto. The floor is yours, Miss Carolyn. Take it away. be done. School is for learning, but also for fun. Tell me your name and I'll tell you mine. And between us, I'm sure we will get along fine. What 
Shannon. What is your name? Kate. What is your name? Jeff. What is your what is your name? John. What is your name? Meg. What is your name? Joy. What is your name? Elizabeth. What is your what is your name? Louise. and singing and new games to play tell me your name and i'll tell you mine and between us i'm sure we will get along fine what is your name scott what is your name ed what is your name Eileen. what is your what is your name Rachel. what is your name Kelly. what is your name cat what is your name Bo. Mr. Invento! What is your name? Sue. What is your name? Karen. What is your, what is your name? Sandra. What is your name? Jonette. What is your name? Miles. What is your name? Todd. What is your, what is your name? Granny. Hey, that was a lot of fun! Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that we're on the way to school. Oh, oh, school. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't everyone have a good summer? Yeah, but that's the problem. When it's summer, you don't even have to think about what day it is. But when school starts, that all changes. You know what day it is all the time. You even count the days of the week. Oh, come on. It doesn't have to be so glum just because you know what day it is. I don't know about that, Miss Carolyn. I think Monday should be taken off as a calendar. Yeah! No, no, it's all in the way you look at it. Monday can be fun day, and Tuesday can be, uh, can be, hmm, what rhymes with Tuesday? Uh, take a snooze day. <laughs> <laughs> and Wednesday can be count by tens day. And Thursday can be put on your spurs day. And Friday can be say goodbye day. And what, Saturday? Baseball day. Day. Right. And Sunday could be... This is Everyone Day! Monday, Monday, Monday is a fun day. Tuesday, 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 take a snooze day. Wednesday, Wednesday, count by tens day. Thursday, Thursday, put on your spurs. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Monday is a fun day. Let's all dance. Tuesday, 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 take a snooze day. Wednesday, Wednesday, count back. Take a trip on a jet. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Monday is a fun day. Tuesday, 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 take a snooze day. Wednesday, Wednesday, count by tens day. Thursday, Thursday, put on your spurs day. Friday, Friday, say goodbye day. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, that's the way we say the days, say the days of the week. We'll be back with some more kids' radio show right after this. Well, the children are starting to get rowdy again, Miss Carolyn. What should we do? Well, we just need to have some more music. I was hoping you would say that. I have installed my very own sound system on the school bus. Here, I will play a special cassette of some soothing music I brought along. I think you better play something besides polka music. What other kind is there? Here, play this cassette I brought along with me in my purse. Otherwise, we're going to have a revolt in here. The world is just full of music critics. Oh, all the kids are just a little nervous about their first day of school. That's all, Mr. Invento. Ah, what do kids have to worry about? You don't think we have things to worry about? Yeah, just because you're an adult, you think that we don't have problems to be worried about. I never heard of such a thing. Oh uh, yeah, I barely got to sleep last night, and I had so many thoughts in my head. Really? Kids worry too, Mr. Invento. Just listen to what concerns them. What you big folks think that only you can do You see I'm worrying You have to understand my problems look gigantic too You see I'm worrying While you think I am sound asleep in bed These thoughts you might find silly travel in and out my head Tomorrow starts day one of school, not half a day a whole, and so I'm worrying. I know I'll miss the bus, the kids will hate me too, I trust you see I'm worrying. I better not eat breakfast all that quick. I better not eat anything at all, I might get sick. I've got a problem now, just wait until the morning when I'm hurrying. I wonder if that bully's back, and if he is, I'll have to do some scurrying. I know my dad will say, what's all the fuss? While he says that it's me, not him, who must get on the bus. And now I'll try and get some sleep and think about parades and stop my worrying. And then my mom reminds me I'm the same in every grade and I'll stop worrying. And so then by the time that I get home, I'll realize I'm not that strange and not so all alone. All kids were worrying, bus drivers worrying, mommies were worrying, brothers were worrying. I'm not that strange, I'm not that strange at all. All kids were worrying, all bus drivers worrying, mommies were worrying, brothers were worrying. I'm not that strange.
That is very interesting. I never knew that kids had so much to worry over before. Well, there's one thing that worries me right now. What is that, Miss Carolyn? You're standing here in the school bus floor with all the rest of us, right? That is correct. And you're the school bus driver, right? Correct again. And the bus is still moving down the street at this moment, if I'm not mistaken. You are very observant, Miss Carolyn. Then who is driving this bus? Well, I would think that it is obvious that no one is driving this bus. <laughs> oh, calm down, calm down, everyone. Not to worry. Do you think that I am a complete fool or what? Yes, you're a I, fool. I put the bus on automatic pilot before I walk back here with the rest of you. So you see, there is really nothing to worry about. Wait a minute. I've never heard of a school bus with an automatic pilot. What did the switch say that you pushed on the dashboard? Well, it said automatic cruise control. Cruise control? That is what I pushed, yeah. Mr. Invento, all that a cruise control does is make the bus go at a constant speed. But it won't guide the bus automatically. Somebody has to be at the wheel. If Vaughn drives the bus, then somebody should do something quickly because no one is driving the bus! Oh, Hold on to your seats, everyone. I think I can make it to the wheel. Hold on. Oh, Miss Carolyn, we are heading into a ditch. Up ahead, hurry. There, I've got the wheel. Hang on, everyone. I'm putting on the brakes. There. Oh, well, I've stopped the bus. But it looks like we're stuck now in some sort of muddy ditch. Mr. Invento, get outside and see if we can get out of this ditch. Mr. Invento, where are you? He's back here on the floor, Miss Carolyn. I think he fainted right before he went into the ditch. Well, we need some way to wake him up. Did anyone bring their lunch with them on the bus? I did. I have my lunch pail right here with me. Good. Take your thermos bottle out and sprinkle a few drops on his face. Hey, what's in that bottle anyway? Milk. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <coughs> I said just a few sprinkles of milk, not the whole bottle. <coughs> Where? Where am I? You fainted when your automatic pilot didn't turn out to be what you thought it was, Mr. Invento. Oh, that would explain the strange dream I was having. I dreamed that a huge cow was standing over me and that milk was pouring all over me. <laughs> hey, what is so funny? And why are my clothes so wet? Never mind, Mr. Invento. Right now we have to get this bus out of the ditch and these kids to their school. But how can we do that? Well, I suggest that you get out and push the back end of the bus while I drive us out. Oh, now wait a minute here. I am the bus driver and you are a passenger. Let's ask the rest of the bus what we should do. Kids, do you want me to drive us out or do you want Miss Carolyn here to drive? Miss Carolyn! Yes, Carolyn! <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I suppose I should begin pushing. Open the doors and I will start. Everyone sit down. Are you ready, Mr. Invento? Yeah, go ahead. I am pushing already. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, we didn't move. What are you kids giggling about? We're looking at Mr. Invento out of the rear window. He looks like a mud monster right now. <laughs> well, we need to put something under one of the rear wheels. Whatever it is should be worthless since the wheels are going to grind it into the mud. Here, I just have the thing right here in this purple box. Good. Go put it under the rear wheel of the bus. I'll let you out. Ach, do Lieber, just look at me. You slung the mud all over me, Miss Carolyn, with all that motor revving you were doing. And we are still stuck in this ditch. Don't worry, Mr. Invento. One of the kids just went back to put something under the rear wheel so we can get out of here. Good. And now he's coming back. Come on, everyone, get on board and I'll try it again. Hang on, here we go. We did it. We're out and back on the road. Hooray! That is fantastic. That was a good idea to put something under the rear wheels. What did you use? Oh, one of the children used a purple box of something they said was worthless. What? A purple box? That was my collection of polka music tapes from around the world. <laughs> Which one of you suggested putting my polka tapes under the wheels of this bus, eh? Calm uh, down, Mr. Uh, Invento. Uh, At least now everyone will get to school on time. Uh, yeah, and I barely made it to the bus stop on time this morning. Sometimes I walk to school. Sometimes I run to school. Well, however you get there, you need to be on time if you can. Hey, good news, everyone. I see your school up ahead. Hooray for Miss Carolyn! Have, Yay! have fun.
fun at school today, kids. Here we go. I wake up at seven o'clock. I hear the alarm of my tick-tock. What's a tick-tock? Your clock. Okay. How's your clock go? Tick-tock, tick-tock. What kinds of clocks do we have? Tick-tock clocks. Electric clocks. Yeah, they don't make any noise at all. Is there any other kind? Oh. Just like me. Cuckoo, cuckoo. How does your alarm go? <laughs> well, I brush my teeth and I then get to rest. Cause every morning gotta look my best. Look your best? You're still tired? Well, yawn. Yeah. Yeah. Stretch. Stretch. Stretch real high. Bend real low. <laughs> the very next thing we go to the kitchen well wondering what the folks are fixing. You hungry? What do you like to eat? Eggs? Bacon? Chocolate cake? Oh, well, I look at the clock and it says eight. I better leave for school. Or I'll be late. Well, I walk, 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 walk. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. You take the train. You ride your bicycle. Well, let's walk this morning. You need the exercise. I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk. I see the clock says a quarter past eight. I better walk a little faster or I'll be late. I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk. A left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. <gasps> well, what is that? I see ahead a traffic light and it says red. I must stop. It's the longest light I've ever seen, but I have to wait till it turns to... <laughs> it's green. Uh, 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 wait a minute, doesn't say green yet. Oh, there it goes. I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk. I'm wondering whether school's begun, just in case I better run. Hell Run, 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 stop. I'm at school. I look at the clock. It's half past eight. I walk proudly in, cause I'm not late. We'll be back with the conclusion of Kids Radio Show right after this. Well, Mr. Invento, it's been quite a day, but we did it. All the kids made it to school on time, so now we can drive back to the KEIDS Kids Radio Show Studio. But before we get there, I want you to promise me one thing. What is that, Miss Carolyn? That you will go to a mechanic and have him explain every single switch on this dashboard to you before you go pick up the children at the end of the school day. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. But I don't think that will make me feel too much better, though. Are you all right? You didn't hurt yourself when you fainted, did you? Oh, nine, nine. I just keep seeing all those beautiful polka tapes being ground up into little bitty pieces under the wheels of this bus in the mud. I think I am going to be sick. Now, now, Mr. Invento, <laughs> cheer up. I want you to listen to a tape I have right here in my purse. Here. <gasps> you saved one of my polka tapes. Oh, thank you, Miss Kellen, thank you. You are right. Today was a success. And I feel wonderful! <laughs> I thought you would. Thanks for being with me on the KIDS Kids Radio Show. I'll be here next week and I hope you will be too. Bye!